guys welcome back to Casey Farms uh, we've had a lot of questions about our chickens lately and haven't done too many chicken videos because we've been having a lot of piglets so we're gonna do some updates on our chickens just let you know how they're going uh, we got the whiting blues we've got the Welsomers we've got the Bielefelders did a bunch of videos on the Bielefelders a while back how they're our favorite chicken and uh, it's been a rough summer with Bielefelders so we'll update you on that a uh, quick look at the turkeys before we head out. It's just about seven this morning. And uh, so we're getting ready for morning chores, but turkeys are growing quick. And uh, we had to put all these wood chips up here for our smoker because uh, they keep getting out. And they kind of like an alarm clock. Every time one gets out, you hear it chirping in the house. So you know somebody's out or someone's been stuck down in the feeder. So. Still working on getting that outdoor brooder cleaned out where we're gonna move them to permanently. Um, but just like everything else, it just takes time to get to those chores. So first things first, we went and bought a ton of pig feed yesterday. Didn't get that unloaded last night, so I just parked it all inside so it stayed dry. So I'm gonna get some of that off the truck and uh, get ready to do the chore, so let's get that unloaded. early morning workout unloading a ton of feed I don't know why but that always makes me happy when our feed is full doesn't make me happy at the feed store paying the bill but we've got to feed it to them anyway so we get a little discount when we buy in bulk and uh, they're gonna eat it we're gonna feed it so we might as well just get it all at once and save us some trips to town so enough of the feed enough of the turkeys we're gonna get the animals fed, and then we're gonna go talk about what's going on with the chickens. Come along, let's go. Okay, you really didn't think I was gonna do a whole video again without showing the piglets, did you? Here they are getting their morning feed. Been eating solid food for a little while now. Everyone's doing good. We did have this one here, she's nursing. The little female bandit. She had a little cut on her face. You can kinda of see it right up there in front of her ear. Not sure how she got it. Maybe she got stepped on, rubbed up against something funny, but that's healing up really good. And we're happy with that, so. But of course I gotta show the piglets. We got new piglets, you're gonna see them in videos. So the last one, I don't think we showed them when we talked about turkeys, but gotta get them on here. Good morning, good morning. Where's Charlie? A little update on Charlie. He's got his head down here mowing. I think we might keep Charlie He's a little boar. We're gonna end up castrating here. And uh, he's kind of, oh, nuts are falling out of the tree under the barn, but he's kind of stole our hearts. He's just too cute. So we're gonna castrate him either way, but I think he's gonna stay here at KC Farms. So a lot of times you need a borrow to go in with another pig to keep it company. So what better pig than Charlie? Jamie's named him Charlie, so. I think he might have a permanent home. Maybe that's why we need to go buy bulk feed all the time because we don't get rid of enough of them. <laughs> but anyway, that's the update on the piglets. Let's get back over and get those birds checked out. <laughs> Had a lot of questions about the Bielefelders 
And uh, so we are back here at the Bielefelder pen and we've had kind of a disappointing summer with these guys. Uh, we hatched out a lot of those young ones and we had a lot of the older ma females going broody. So we were thinking that's why we weren't getting a lot of eggs and we've probably got upwards of 25 hens in here and our one rooster but we have hardly got any eggs from these guys the younger ones have started laying and uh so we're getting a few of the smaller ones i'm not sure what the issue was i'm not sure if when we introduced those younger ones to the flock it stressed them out and they stopped laying um i don't know what it was but our egg production was i guess he is probably horrible you know for as many birds as we have here and as much feed as we put into them, we were not getting, we're still not getting very many eggs, maybe seven, seven a day. Some are little, so I know those younger ones are starting to lay, and uh, a couple larger ones. So the egg production has gone way down. I'm not sure what that is. We I just put new hay in here. We've got the oyster shell over there. I've got feed in the feeder, and I also sprinkle some feed out just in case there's too many of them. For them to get adequate feed you know i don't want them stressed out having to find feed we do have one you see that one right there standing up tall that one does lay a green egg so that is a bielefelder mixed with an easter egger but so just an update i mean i still like the chickens um we did a couple videos on them whether or not they're the best homestead chicken and at the time they were laying great and doing very well so the one reason I was talking about them being the best homestead because the best dual purpose because you know if you can't get meat birds for some reason these are a larger bird you could possibly use them for meat as well um, at the time the, they were laying well but something this summer happened and I don't know if it's something I did um, with introducing the birds if they weren't getting something they needed um, but anyway that's just an update on the Bielefelders they the egg production has gone way down so something you got to think you know if you're putting feed into them and you're needing to get eggs if you're at a market or even just for your family you know 20 i mean i can try and count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 20 just over 25 in here um for seven eggs that's not good at all so like i said i don't know why i still do like this chicken i haven't given up on it but for some reason, our egg production this summer has been horrible with these guys. On a positive note, every chicken pen we have, except the Whiting True Blues, has a Bielefelder rooster in it. And we are yet to get attacked by those roosters. So it is nice to uh, not go into a pen and worry about getting attacked. So that is a positive thing. Not giving up on them. But overall, egg production has been horrible. And they're a dual dual purpose chicken so they're not supposed to be great egg layers but we're not getting good egg production at all so i'm hoping that will change with this younger flock of hens that i have in here that have started laying and uh we'll just keep seeing keep seeing what happens uh i'm not giving up on them we may hatch out some more and keep trying but right now this flock has been uh underperforming to say the least so Let's head up and we're gonna check out the Whiting True Blues here before we wrap this up. All right, last group of chickens that we're gonna talk about today are the Whiting True Blues. And you can see we have started getting some eggs. Those are pretty dirty. We didn't have any nesting boxes ready. Um, I've taken those out and I've cut out the fronts of them and uh, put some hay in there. That way the hens can start getting in. And like I've said before in previous videos, these guys are skittish and we don't spend a ton of time in here making pets out of our birds. Um, some birds are just more friendly naturally than others. Not that these guys are mean, they're just skittish. So. Um, they have started laying, which is really exciting because our Easter eggers have really slowed down. Um, but they're three years old, so what we're going to do is uh, take these. And uh, they were laying in the bottom of the, the chicken coop here. 
So we're just gonna put these old eggs in here. Hopefully they'll see these in here and it will encourage them to start using these nesting boxes. But I was out um, piecing up some birds the other day and I could hear the sound the hens make after someone's proud and wants to tell the world that, hey, I, uh, I just laid an egg. So, and I knew it was this flock because they're the closest one to me. But, so the Whiting True Blues, beautiful birds. Some of them roosters, those two roosters on the right are really pretty. We've got one rogue rooster that jumps out every day, chases all the hens around the farm, breeds everybody. And uh, we may end up getting rid of him. I mean, he's nothing wrong with him, except he's annoying. <laughs> but anyway, those are the Whiting True Blues. And we finally got some eggs. We had some videos. We'll post them here. When we first got them, we lost the whole first batch of them. And then uh, our reorder came late. So we knew it was going to be a little bit later in the season that we would start getting eggs from them. But we have started laying. We had two yesterday. Um, so it may just be two hens, but they're all starting now. And uh, that means we have no more chick starter on the farm. Except for those ducks at the pond. They're still on a chick starter but everyone else is getting a layer pellet. So we talked about piecing up those meat birds just a minute ago when I heard them laying eggs. So uh, let's go check out our last group of chickens for the day. All right, so this was our biggest year for meat birds. I think we've done around 150, 175. I'm not 100% sure, but yet to get this cleaned up here. Um, I wanna do five more ducks. Um, back at the pond we've got a lot of males and not too many females so i need to do oh we better check out the kitties i need to do those five males and then all this equipment's getting put away so here are the kitties good morning hopefully soon y'all are gonna be catching some mice for us but there's Flo back there but anyway we were gonna get some more meat birds this year and if you're still thinking about it if you head over to valleyfarmshatchery.com um, they have straight run Cornish Cross right now for 99 cents. We chose not to do it because eight weeks out would put us almost the first week of December. And I didn't want to butcher when it was that cold. But if you're looking for that, maybe you're in a warmer climate or you don't care about that temperature, 99 cents right now. So go to their website and check them out. But here's our last group of meat birds. And this is the best time to see them. We just ended up getting another freezer. Check that out. We pieced them up. We got breasts, legs, thighs, tenders, a couple whole birds. We got some customers coming out today. But uh, that's our favorite chicken right there. Maybe that's the best chicken for the homestead. So anyway, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Appreciate all those comments. If you got any comments down in there, go ahead and put them down. We try to answer all those if we can. If not, we do it in a video. But we appreciate you guys following along, and we'll check you out on the next video.